Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Today, I'm gonna take you through the quick unboxing of the Studio R30 and how you can set it up. Uh, so I will show you how to upgrade to the latest version, walk you through some different uh, director AI settings, uh, like speaker track and group track, etc., uh, and how to uh, configure them. And just show you uh, and walk you through uh, the Lens desktop application. First off, uh, I will unbox it. But if you're looking for a more extended unboxing, uh, I would say just check out that video. And uh, so I will put a link right there so you can check that out. Because there I did an extended edition uh, of, uh, of walking through uh, to the Studio R30. Today is just a quick unboxing and uh, show you at least what is inside the box. I will hook it up and then I will hook it up to the uh, uh, to the lens app and show you on my laptop uh, what's uh, what's going on and the things you can configure okay so let's first take it out of the box really nice so we got here a very nice box the studio r30 very nice poly box all right just show you here we got the R30. So the R30 inside, we got a reference here to the poly lens application. It's already pointing in that direction. And underneath right here, we got power supply and cables, but I will show you that in a bit. So first off, the Studio R30. Of course, there are some quick guides in here. Eh? with a QR code and uh, very nice. Some other documentation. We got power cable, a uh, Euro cable, perfect. We got the power supply, all right. We got the clamp, show you that quickly. This is the clamp, very nice. Uh, so here you can just uh, hook it up and uh, put it on top of a screen. And we got five meters USB cable. So that is USB-C to USB-A on the laptop side. And of course I got noise block AI enabled so you don't hear any of that noise. Really nice. Eh? I always like to eh, show all those features. And Noise Block AI is built in P15, it's built into the R30, it's built in the Studio X series. Eh? It's got in all of the products, it's almost in there. And that's it. Right. So, the table. Power supply, Euro cable, quick start guide. We don't need that. All right, a bit about the R30, uh, just on the technical side, just very quickly before we're gonna hook it up uh, and show you uh, what is available in the Lens desktop uh, application. So, First off, uh, it's got a privacy cover. So, so in case people are concerned, uh, privacy in the room, and you can easily add that cover on top. It's got a 100 degree lens, 4K camera, 120 degree. So if you like compare that with the P15, that is a 90 degree uh, camera. But it has similar look and feel. It's a little bit bigger. There are multiple beamforming mics in there uh, for a good pickup in the room. It's got all tracking features uh, like speaker track, group track, uh, presenter track, and I will show you that director uh, and people track at uh, the newer one. So I will walk that all through. If you compare that to the P15, uh, that one has the, uh, the group track available, uh, but this one goes like a bit further with all those tracking options. Also the other features like noise block AI, acoustic fans, uh, these are all available in this, uh, in this device. You can also reverse mount it. So if needed, you can reverse mount it. There's a setting in the Poly Lens app, so you can easily reverse mount it. 
also can replace the front plate there. You just turn that around very, very easily. Now on top, there's nothing more than just some holes uh, for, the, for the air. And as you can see, it's got very nicely that trio logo, that polo logo, as you see uh, right here. Uh, underneath, let me show you that. Uh, so you got a sort of USB hub inside there. Uh, so you got a user port uh, with the uh, R30, but it gives you two ports back. Uh, so in case you need to have a privacy call uh, or you want to load your phone, and uh, you got at least some additional USB ports available. Here we got a tripod connector. Uh, so here you can hook up that clamp uh, which comes along with the uh, R30 and uh, to put it on top of, uh, of the screen. Then we got the power connector right here. We got the USB-C. Uh, so here we we'll hook it up to, uh, to the computer. We got a reset button. Uh, so in case there's any malfunction, just put here a sort of uh, pin inside, power it up and you can, uh, can reset it. And you got here the cancel lock uh, for just to protect it in a room. On the back side, we got a very nice Polo logo. And as I said, it's all similar material as P15 and the Studio X series. We got here just for the air, a bus reflex port uh, for, the, for the sound. Very nice. And it looks very, very nice and easy to set up. So everything is in here camera, speaker, and mic. And so that makes this solution so very easy. You can use it with via YOD in combination with your laptop, uh, or uh, you can even use it in your home office if you want to. Uh, uh, but you can also use it within MTR system and MTR windows and connect it up through USB. It's a certified Teams device. In any case, if you want to hook it up to a Zoom, uh, to a Zoom room, of course, that is also uh, a possibility. All right, so what I will do, I will not connect the clamp, but I will connect here. I got here another sort of tripod available because then you're able to see the light. So I will screw that underneath the R30 very easily. And what I have here is I have the power cable, And so I will gonna hook that up through power. And the other cable, just should right here, is the USB-C cable. And these are the only two cables you need to attach. And what you will see, you should be able to see that it's powering up with the white light, just flashing a bit, as you see right there. You can hear the sound, and now it should be ready. It could be that it's sometimes orange. I've seen that before, but leave it uh, for maybe one or two minutes. It could be that it's then still booting up and eh? don't unplug the power just leave it there uh, but i don't see any amber or orange light at the moment there eh? so it should be uh, should be okay but sometimes i've seen it with some demo devices eh, that it gives an amber light right over there so nothing to worry about eh? it's not detected yet by the pc but just leave it a little bit and then it should be fine the next step of course is look for this device in the lens desktop application and so let me switch now to the lens desktop application and show you what you can do there all right so here we are my windows desktop as so i already installed the lens desktop application and so i will put a link in the comments eh, so you're able to find the lens desktop application quickly so if i double tap on that it should be able to find the devices, even headsets eh, that are connected through USB. So in this case, I connected the R30. And as you can see, it's detected and it's ready to, uh, to set up. So I can click on that. And now it will say device detected, put in a password. So that is the default password. That is POLY with capital P. And then it is the dash sign and a dollar sign. But again, I will put that... Yeah, that out of box experience, eh? I will put a reference also in the comments you're able to find it. So let me put in that password now. So after putting the default password there, eh, you can import your configuration. So if you did an export in the past, then eh, you can just import it and you're ready to go. Or we go to begin setup. And so here we select the country. So I'm still in the Netherlands. You can give the device a name, eh, but the default it will use the Studio R30. That's fine. We put in a password 
All right, so I will make that simple for myself. Do next. Now we got the option to co configure Wi Fi. Uh, so there is Wi Fi inside the R30, so you're able to manage it through the Lens Cloud. Really, really nice. So it can be on its own by itself, connect to the Lens Cloud, and you're able to manage that device. So you could create a sort of Wi Fi network uh, to manage those, uh, those devices. That is a possibility. Let me skip that for now and we'll finish. All right, and here we go. And as if there is any update available, it will prompt you here for those updates and you can push it out. And what you will see is that it will usually flash amber and sort of amber orange light. And just in that case, leave it a little bit uh, and then it should be uh, ready in, uh, in five minutes or so. All right, so what is available? Let me first go to the controls and let me make this screen a bit bigger. So we first have a preview window. And so here you can check out what the video is showing. You can create snapshots, etc. zoom in. There's some manual PTZ here and to play around. You can create favorites as you see right here. So you can do like sandbox or you can create different favorites here. And that means favorite for all your settings you see right here. And so you can just create a favorite or you can create a new one, save it as a new favorite, really, really nice. If you take the R30 through different rooms, you can select those right here. We got backlight compensation and here we come to the tracking, which is I think a really interesting one. So we already had speaker framing and where it follows the speaker in the room, where we had the group framing uh, where it will just go and show the group and uh, so the more people come into the room it will zoom out so that everybody is visible we got presenter tracking and uh, that means it will follow on the fly a presenter this is usually for the educational market uh, but a really nice one new in the laser release is the conversation mode this is probably what people know. So if two persons have a discussion, it can create a sort of split screen and you see both participants uh, in the video, really nice. And the new one here is the people framing. And that is putting six participants in the room and frame that up, up to six participants in one view. That is a really, really nice one and is available now on the R30. It's also, in the studio USB. So I really recommend that if you have uh, time uh, to, uh, to play around with that uh, people framing. So we got zoom. So here you can put it in a maximum zoom and uh, just depending on, uh, on your room. Here, if you're using the auto framing uh, with the camera, you can use auto pan or cut. Cut means it will switch directly to a different view and auto pan is usually doing a bit slower, uh, so that is a very nice transition. Here you can play with the uh, framing speed, and we got here the framing size. So how much do you want to zoom in into a speaker uh, or zoom into a group? Really nice, uh, but especially the people framing uh, is a really nice one, is available now on the R30. So this is the control tab. Again, all those settings will also be available in the Lens Cloud. Uh, be aware of that. So I think this is really powerful. If you want to sensory manage just uh, multiple of those devices, say uh, you got the possibility now. On the settings side, uh, what do we see there? So before we can go to any settings, as you can see, we need to log in with the device password. So let me do that. Here you go. And now we can see all the settings. So here we can anyway enable Wi-Fi, which we didn't do during the, uh, the out-of-box uh, wizard, but we can do that anyway through this menu. We got here Bluetooth. This would be something for if you want to hook it up to your phone maybe. Uh, so you can pair it up with your phone and use it as a speaker and mic, uh, or you want to play music through Bluetooth, but also if you want to use a remote control, so it doesn't come with a remote control at eh, the R30. That is good to know. It's an optional component, but you're able to enable that also right here. 
we got the possibility to change password. Here we can configure the provisioning server. So as soon as you've set up the Wi-Fi, what you can do is you can configure here the server type and point it to your poly provisioning server eh, or the poly lens. So here you can configure that if you got a, like a regular provisioning server eh, on site or using an FTP server, eh, that's also a possibility with the config file, you can do that here. And if you've set up your network, so if the Wi-Fi has a reference to the DHCP option, eh, so again, I can put a reference eh, in the comments. So you got some documentation about that. That's, I thought it was 160. If you put that in, you can point that to, uh, to Polylens. And then if the device comes in a Wi-Fi network, it will automatically register to Polylens the cloud. And really, really nice. Configuration, so here you can import and export your configuration as you've seen during the out of box experience. Eh? So if you've set up one device, you got multiple devices, you can just import eh, the same uh, configuration. Here you can set up NTP, so you probably put that to auto, eh? so it's able to detect that automatically during eh, the DHCP uh, discovery. You can add certificates if you want to uh, for your uh, for your management. You can restart the device right here, and you can also restart if you hook it up to Polylens in the cloud. Eh? So you can also do that remotely, and you can restore defaults. Eh? All right, then we got on the general. We got the like the 50 and the 60 hertz, uh, of course, eh, to match that with uh, with the lightning. Here you got that invert video option. As you see right here, disabled by default, uh, but here you can flip that. So that means the camera image will be flipped. Uh, so you just need to take off the front and just turn it around. And uh, so you're able to use it upside down. So there is a visa plate uh, and a wall mount uh, available for the R30 RS option. So if you want to, uh, to, uh, to put it reversed under the screen, that is an option. And that hides also the cables behind the screen. Audio. Audio is really interesting because here we got some nice settings like uh, the acoustic fence, as you see right here. By default, it's turned off. So we can put it to narrow, medium, wide, or camera view. This is the tracking, like depending on how much you want to cover with the audio eh, and what is outside the audio. Let's say you got this conference cable, uh, table. Eh? But outside the conference uh, table, you got your coffee machine. And so that means anything that's happening outside that, like that area will be filtered out from the video. So I think really, really nice. And even there's a new one which popped up in one of the last versions that is camera view. So as long as I'm in the camera view, you can hear my audio. And if I'm going outside the camera view, that sound, will not be available. And so that is also a very nice option, but I think it's just best to play around with these options eh, and just try them out and see what fits best for your environment. Now we got noise block AI for outgoing audio. Eh? So noise block AI means that if I'm making some noise, for example, with this, which you don't hear, that means outgoing eh, from, uh, from my area, but you can also enable noise block AI for incoming calls, which is disabled by default. And that means audio, which is coming from another location and eh, like not voice, but just to filter it out. So you can do that in both directions. Really, really nice. And then we got the bass. Eh, so you can add some additional uh, bass to the, uh, add to, the, to the sound. I usually like to bump that up. A little bit, especially with the uh, X70, uh, bump it up and then the treble, uh, usually leave that default. Then we got diagnostics. So here we can show the on screen display. Uh, we can show some additional information about the camera. Here we can do an audio uh, test. Uh, and that was settings. Uh. Then we go to the support. So here we got a quick link to the quick start guide. And we can find some additional information also to the user guide. We got here the device logs eh, and additional information. This is usually when it comes down to support. 
as you see right here, it doesn't have an IP address at the moment. This was also added in one of the latest versions. Eh? So you show the IP address right here. Makes sense eh? when you hook it up to a Wi-Fi network and eh? you probably want to know which IP address it, uh, it got. The serial number, the software version running. We got here some other information. We can upload custom software. So in case there is something going on with the device, you got some issues and you got specific version from Poly and uh, from the support, you can upload it right here uh, to, uh, to test it out. Here you can download logs for the support. Here you can download press reports. Uh, so there's all sort of information available when needed. And that is the support piece. Here you got contact support. Uh, similar here, also some, uh, some information, but that's it. And we got here, uh, yeah, all the information when you're looking for additional reference, etc. And this is how to start very quickly. And the first thing that I usually do is just you get an R30 or a P15 or Studio USB, you just download the PolyLens app, and get it on this latest version, put in the base configuration, and if needed, hook it up to PolyLens. To, uh, yeah, to manage it also uh, centrally there. But that is usually the basis where you can play around uh, with all the latest and greatest features. Now further some things to show. Uh, let me make it a bit smaller again. So on the right lower side, you see here those three dots. So if I click on that, you can uh, pair a Bluetooth device. So if you want to pair it up to your phone, uh, you can do that right here. If you want to pair it with a remote, that's also a possibility. So you also do that right here. And in case you click on that, what you will see is that the light will blink blue on the R30 and you will hear a sort of sound and it started to come in a pairing mode. Just some of those minor things, but just good to know. And here on the right side, you got a feedback button. So in any case, you got feedback on the PolyLens application. You can always click here and you will be brought to the Poly Lens site. And here you can yeah, send all sorts of feedback to, uh, to Poly uh, about the uh, experience you have with the Lens desktop app. Now, what more do we have? Just quickly, uh, because we are in the Lens desktop app anyway, we can go to the settings. Uh, here you can log in with an account. Uh, so as soon as you kind of do this centrally, you kind of bring in uh, the Lens desktop app centrally. Manage it all through the cloud. Uh, you're going to log in with a specific account. On a general, we got also some new options. Eh? And the last version is you launch the PolyLens at startup. And eh? so you don't have to start it up as a user. It will automatically be done. It will launch minimized. Eh? So as soon as we'll start up, it will go here into that tray bar. And eh? so you got that right here very nicely. You got here some uh, soft phone settings. Uh, so here you can configure some different soft phone settings which you have on your PC. Notifications. So here you can configure different notifications which you want to uh, want to receive. We got language settings, which is English at the moment, uh, but I would expect more languages uh, in uh, in the future. Software updates. So always good to check. Uh, we are now on 1120 uh, as of this video, uh, but that could change, of course, uh, every month. And about gives you some generic information. All right. And yeah, also the last thing which I wanted to uh, mention uh, as soon as you disconnect it. So let me disconnect the camera now. What you will see is that it's not connected at the moment here. But also you got now the ability to delete a device from your lens application. Just good to know uh, because you cannot delete it, of course, when it is connected. But if you want to remove it from your lens desktop app, as soon as it's disconnected, you can remove it. Just some uh, quick tips and tricks and uh, good to know things. Just a quick unboxing and quick setup using the lens desktop application uh, of the Poly Studio R30. So, Again, this is not by default shipped. Eh? This was just for my demo. So it's got a nice tripod underneath it. But the one that will be shipped will be at the clamp. So you can just easily put that here underneath the R30.
very easy to set up uh, and now you can easily attach it on top of the screen really nice and so this comes by default with the uh, with the r30 and don't forget to take off that like protection paper eh? there's a sort of protection cape yeah paper here on the camera don't forget to take that out eh? to optimize use and uh, the device in your conference rooms now hopefully you enjoyed it uh, today if you got any questions or comments uh, just uh, put them under the video and uh, yeah i'm looking forward to uh, see you all back in the next video